universe! Today I'm going to show you how I use Notion. Notion is essentially a application on your laptop and your phone that allows you to organize your whole entire life in so many different ways. It allows you to create pages and notes and tables and journals. So if you have a minimal and slow approach to it, you will be able to put down everything that is in your head in a very clear and constant way. Here we are on my main page, my queendom, if you will. I have a quote on the top left. I will usually switch that out every couple of months when I do my quarterly planning. Underneath that, I have just the resolve that I have for the next quarter and mine is to work smarter. And on the right-hand side, I have my goals for the next quarter to reach 5,000 subscribers. I hope that happens and to lose two kilograms. For me, it's very helpful to have something easily measurable there. Underneath that, I have five columns that represent very important parts of my life. The first one is my content, of course, my job then some projects that I have that are a little bit bigger, both personal and YouTube related. I have some ideas. I have my knowledge base. That's just your quotes, your notes, your journals, things like that. All of this is your knowledge base. So it's like a database. And then I have some other things here. I have my wish list and a recently created page of digital subscriptions, which I think is really useful. Underneath that, something that I personally need, I have an overview of the current videos that I'm working on and with each one, I can click and go to the script for that video. That is an amazing functionality that Notion specifically has is to make pages that you can link like in the internet. It's like a small website just for you. Underneath that, I have some ideas. I have an idea, I wanna put that down right away. So I will open this first page and on the bottom, I will just dictate whatever is on my mind or I will write it as fast as possible. And then when I'm home or later, I will sort it into one of the columns or one of the ideas. So this is not organizing my whole life with Notion because I decided that I don't want to use Notion for my daily to-dos. I did try that and I'm going to show you how I did that because it was really good. Essentially, it would show you the current month. And once you go to a specific day, you could click on this little plus icon and you create either a plan for the week, a plan for the day or a habit tracking sheet. So I would go to the first of the month and I would create a habit tracking sheet what would essentially create a table of all of the habits that I could be doing. For example, taking my vitamins, planning and doing yoga. You could call it habits for July, for July. And then you could go on that specific day and track the habits that you did. And if I close it now, you will see that I can click it right here and track my habits. And the same thing would be with a daily plan and a weekly plan. I will just create a new daily plan, which is essentially a template of how I would plan my day. I would do some picking a few tasks, a main task, a few medium tasks, a few small tasks. For example, tracking my habits would be there every single day because if you want to stay on top of it, you have to make it a daily plan. And then a few things that I'm grateful for, a few wins that I have, and how I could have made the day better. I actually think that is a great way to plan. I just made it even simpler for me and I will show it in a upcoming video. But then you could also create a plan for the week. So plan for week 10, for example. And it would just have a few things that I thought were important, things that move you towards your goals, things that went bad, things that went good. You can see I have a lot of things to fill out here. And then a few goal assessments. I would do this every Sunday. You can, can you move it from here? Yeah, you can. You can move it, you can do it every Sunday and plan your week. If you want this template, I will share it with you. And I have went back to using Google Calendar and some simple to-do list applications for that, but it is completely possible to do everything in Notion. If we start from the right, something that everybody might have is a wish list, which is just a very simple notion list of the items that I would like to receive in the future. Underneath a really useful page that I use all the time, my digital subscriptions. One day I sat down, I wrote down each service that I use. Is it currently active or not? I wrote when my payment is due 
and how much does it cost. And then I created an extra table, which is just to calculate the cost per month and per year. So all of these payment due options that are blue are actually going to remind me, you can select here when exactly, two days before, a week before, that the service is going to renew. And if I want to cancel it, I will be able to cancel it. The next thing I have here and something that you might have as well is a journal. I can use a template that I created here for a daily entry that just has some basic things to inspire me. So what are my intentions? What happened today? What am I grateful for? And once my journal entries start filling up, they will be right here. They will have a date and I will be able to search for things and I'll be able to sort them. So you see the amazing functionality of creating a template here. You can either just make a new page that looks like all the other Notion pages, or you can think about the specific use that you have, for example, a journal page, and you can introduce this template in Notion. So then once you are in this context, you can go and you can select, in this case, create a new daily entry, and then you will have all of these suggestions like intention and what happened. Next thing we have are my book quotes. I do have to create a better page for that. I also didn't spend enough time on it yet. Then I have some book notes. This is a template that I actually downloaded from Ali Attal. Everybody who has made something beautiful in Notion can share it really easily. And I just got this from, from Ali Attal. It is a book notes template. So everything you have learned from a book, you can see that he used his impressions, his top three quotes, his summary. And actually these are lists you can open and look inside. So really beautiful for just having that information there to go back to. The next column we have are my ideas. So the first one is my brain dumps. I had a lot of problems with brain dumps. I usually write them on floating piece of paper anywhere around the house and I lose a lot of ideas. So I decided that every time I have an idea, I will go inside my brain dumps and I will create a new mini page and I will just write down everything that comes to my mind. And each time I wrote down everything, I went back, I collected the information and I put it into a very clean and tidy, neat new page of information. So for example, I had ideas about investing and I made a complete investing page. I have an idea to stream and I created a streaming page. Only important thing is to really go back there and sort out the information, throw away what you don't think is important anymore and just create a neat little new page with your specific idea about it. Underneath that, I have some notes and ideas. One of them is the ideas and things that I have for the next quarter. Quarter. So here I will put the experiences that I want to have, the books that I want to read, the movies that I want to watch, and the things that I want to learn. And here above that, I have some notes. I took some body measurements in March and I have them written here, for example. And if I have a new note, I can create a quick note. I have a template for that. And it's just either a future to do, a reminder, or a general note. And then it has some content. Usually I will try to get a note done right after I, I can, so I can remove it. I don't want things to become too cluttered here. I'm a minimalist about that as well. Underneath that, we have a piece of text, which is streaming. And the reason why that is there as text is because I wanted to show you how actually these pages came to be. Then I want to go to this text and I want to click it, click on the side of it actually, and go turn into page. So once I have some more ideas about how I want to stream and what I want to do, I would go here, I would add some kind of icon, I would add some kind of background, and I would start working on my new project of streaming, which I do want to do. And look at the next column, which is my projects. The first one that I have is a thumbnail redo. I've just been redoing my thumbnails. Underneath that, I have a page for my mailing list and newsletter and the website relaunch. That is actually something that is bound to that. I am currently recreating my website. And the final column is my content ideas. For each video idea, I have a stage that the idea is in. Is it being done? Is it just somewhere in the far off future? Was it just a comment that I got from you? I write all of these down. So if you have an idea, leave it in the comments and it might become a video. I write that down and then I write a category. What kind of video is it going to be? Is it going to be about minimalism or self-improvement? And I just have that categorized here so I can use that to sort the column if I want to. 
and for each one I can actually click on it because it is linked to a script that I have written. So if I go back to my main page, I can actually visit my scripts and the scripts are actually where I have written out everything that I have on a video and then I will link that in several places just so that it's easy for me to find it again. And the ones that I have currently written are here on the top. The ones that I have done are on the bottom. So in Notion, you can have a button to generate a template, just like we mentioned with the journal entries. You can have that in many different places. You can have that in a table, you can have that on a page, and you can easily just click that button and create a new page of that kind. So I made one for my script. And here is the new script page that was generated, just a basic emoji and background and title right here, and then some information. For example, when it is due, I can really easily edit that and I will put a reminder. For example, if I'm writing the script for this video that it has to be done on Friday and to remind me two days before that. I can write a status, what type of script is it? Is it an idea? Is it a finished script? Is it something that I'm filming or I'm done with? I will write a few possible titles in here if I have a thumbnail idea, if I have any just random ideas. And then on the bottom of that, I can do writing the intro, writing the main part and writing the conclusion. And that is something that you could do for everything. Maybe a class or a homework, or maybe watching an educational video that you want to take some notes from. If you have a general structure of that, you can easily create a template to generate anytime you need a new version of that. And you can see here, if I click configure how that is built, it is just a, a block that is called a generator, I believe. And every time I click the block, it will duplicate this page that I made called a new video featuring integrations. As I said, Notion is free for personal use. You can use it with your team. You can share this page with them. You can work on a script together with other people, but that is a paid subscription. And other than that, I hope you have a lovely week and I will be seeing you again very soon. Bye bye.